Yeah, so we just walked this one. As you guys saw, this uh, another property, you know, the hearing was looking at. Nine day difference, you kind of see the full spectrum from the lake house, then the second house that, uh, that, they, that they were going through and renovating right now to this one, which would be more of a entry home level or really just a strictly a rental property, section eight type of home. It was right off a of busy, busy uh, main thoroughfare right here, this main road here, smaller floor plan, and it needs a lot of work. This home was built in 1906. Uh, you know, a lot of the original cabinetry, you know, no HVAC system in there. And so a lot of work that needs to be done. You saw a lot of the uh, original flooring, the flooring was sagging in different areas, um, carpet. And so one of the things you have to look at is bringing everything back up to the 2023 standards with the code. And it's going to be expensive. You got to do a lot of upgrades, look for asbestos, lead paint, and so all the regulations. So you have to manage that with the upside with how much is the property going to be worth after you finish. And so on this one, I don't think the juice would be worth the squeeze. This other one, um, you may have to go in with, may put in an additional maybe 15, 20,000, and it would be, you know, it would be a solid rental property. And so it just kind of depends on your strategy. And so a lot of people that, that with this one, it probably would always be a $80,000 house. 20 years from now, it probably still be an $80,000 house. But you'll be able to get $800, $900 a month cash flow. And so it'll be paid off in three, four years. And then you can look at, uh, you know, and then just the cash flow coming in. So investors have different criteria, different goals um, for cash flow appreciation. They may have this property in their portfolio. They may have other higher appreciating assets that get less cash flow in their portfolio. So it's just a balance in that and see, you just gotta know as an investor, what are you looking for? What's your goal? And kind of stick to that and figure out what your buy box is and your criteria. And so this one definitely wouldn't be a, 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 a candidate for a fix and flip but it may be one for a good buy and hold. So we'll see what they what they decide to do with this one. But, uh, but yeah, that's the power of real estate. You got full spectrum from, you know, six, $700,000 houses to $80,000 houses that uh, you just kind of see, figure out what your buy box is and what are your investment goals are. And then just find those right assets that, that fit your criteria and just take action, which is the ultimate goal. You got to take action, figure out what it is you're doing and just go do it. And, uh, and that's what it's all about. So that's what we're here in Augusta, Georgia. It's been a great day so far. Um, we're wrapping up, just seeing a lot of real estate and just seeing, I've just been blessed seeing all the progress, everything that Henry and the team has been doing. And uh, it's phenomenal. And just building wealth through real estate, they're changing their lives, the next generation, their kids' lives. And so that's what we're doing here in Augusta, Georgia. Um, so I'm just grateful to be a part of it and just being able to help mentor and consult along the way and just seeing the progress and that's what it's all about so i encourage you guys if you're looking to get in real estate i would love to be a mentor a coach consultant to help you do deals to help you manage your risk and help you be a will so definitely reach out and uh inquire you can get some more information about my mentorship coaching programs and just how i can help you kind of make that transition and accelerate your wealth building journey so that's it we're wrapping up we got a few more things to do here and then we're going to be back on the plane headed back to dc tonight and uh yeah and get ready for next week so stay tuned